Desi J, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hey, so you guys, it has been so long since I've done a tech type video. The last time you guys seen me talk about cameras was when I bought that um, Canon G7X Mark II and I did the unboxing here on the channel. Question is, hmm, do I still have that camera? Mm, no. Actually, guys, I sold it. It, I love Canon, don't get me wrong. And we're talking about Canon today. But that camera just, I don't know. It was so, it was so great in the beginning. But I do a lot of like outside vlogging. And I, and I knew it. I did so much research on this camera. And I knew it. But I just didn't know like to the extent. It took in way too much light. The more I brought it down, you know, the um, ISO and the white balance, all that, it still just was too bright. It was almost distorted, and I couldn't figure out how to get it to do well outside. It did great in low lighting, but outside with the sun, so I sold it. So, I am back to using my firstborn, my first baby, my Canon EOS M50 mirrorless vlogging camera. So, right now, on my baby is do, 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 do. the kit lens that it came with and why well, i don't have that cover on there i don't know we're gonna talk about it <clears throat> but yeah this is the kit lens that comes with it but you could choose to get the kit lens it comes you can just buy the body but i bought the kit lens because when i first bought this camera i didn't know nothing about lens and i got what just came with it so let's talk about this baby really quick and right now I'm just filming on my um, S22 Ultra Android right now because we are going to talk about this camera and this lens and we're going to unbox my new lens and then we're going to take a little field trip and see the difference between the two and the question of the day is which lens right now in this moment will be the best lens for vlogging outside so with that said Let's get into the details of the kit lens and then we're gonna unbox my new baby that I got for Christmas. All right, so my kit lens is, um, it's a zoom lens. So what that means is it, it does zoom. All right, so yeah, so it does zoom. Mm -hmm. And the minimum is 15, I don't know if you guys can see that, 15 to 45, all right. So that means the minimum distance is 15, which is really close shots. And then it can zoom pretty far out, actually, at 45. It's pretty good for this to be, you know, a little kit lens. And it has a really good smooth background. It does not do blurry backgrounds because the f-stop stops at um, 3.5, I believe. Let me double check. But yeah, the f-stop on this one is 3.5. To get that blurry bokeh, you need something really low, like a 0.2, 1.2, something like that. But this one does not give you that blurry bokeh background that a lot of YouTubers like to use. All right, so it does have a pretty high quality focal range. It takes very beautiful portraits, landscapes, beauty photos. Matter of fact, this is the lens that I use when I took my birthday pictures, and I'll put them right here on the screen so you can see them. This is the camera that I use to take those photos. And um, yes, you see the bo the background is bokeh because I did edit the background to be bokeh. But the photos itself came from this camera and this kit lens. And another thing I like about this lens that it does have stable stabilization in the lens itself. And you know, the camera does have some stability itself but this lens does offer stability. So, you know, with the shaky hands when you're vlogging, it provides you a smooth um, video. All right, so like I said, this is my setup right now. So we're gonna switch and talk about my new lens really quick. Oh, and also on this lens, I do have a HD um, filter, 
that's for outside. So the sun, it doesn't take in too much lighting, pretty much. And I also got another little gadget, a hood. And that also kind of helps the sun rays from getting into the lens. So that's my setup right now. And you guys know I have bought that um, other Canon camera because I wanted something smaller. Because this setup does require a little more than this. So you have your flip out screen. And then, before we talk about the other lens. And then you have to... It works without a microphone. You can hear yourself pretty decent. But if you want really good sound, you have to have a microphone. So going out in public like this, it draws attention. Even though I chose this pink microphone, I do have... Y'all, I got so many fun gadgets in here. I do have a Movu microphone. And I'm not a professional. I'm not a tech expert, baby. I am learning this camera daily. Like, I... Mm -mm. So y'all don't come for me. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I also have this. So, but that's still, look at that. It draws attention. So I wanted to get a little camera that doesn't do all of this. And everybody's not looking at you like you're crazy. So I am still on a hunt for the perfect little tiny camera. And I'm actually thinking about getting an M200. So if anybody knows, any tech people watching this, if you guys know anything about the m200 like just for outside vlogging not nothing professional just for a little little bloggy vlog please let me know is it worth buying all right so with that said y'all i asked santa claus to bring me this <laughs> and santa got this for me i just love canon so much y'all but it's the new well it's not new but it's new for me it's a um prime lens ef mount 22 millimeter baby and we're going to open it together. So while I'm opening it, let's talk about why I wanted this lens. So, of course, the kit lens is a beginner lens. I wanted to graduate from that. And I researched and I looked and I was like, what lens would be good for me? Beginner. I don't really know anything about lens. What's going to be good for me? Y'all, hold on a moment. I'm a little under the weather. I know y'all can hear that. Let me just hold on. Yeah, my throat. I know y'all can hear him so raspy. I do apologize, but I was struggling to talk for a second. Okay. Let's get back into it. So, I wanted to figure out what camera would be good for me as a next step up. So, and I, want, I didn't want nothing to draw too much attention. So, this is considered... A pancake lens because it's so tiny and so lightweight it's 3.7 ounces so it's really like the box is literally with weights nothing so it is a wide angle lens so you know when you're vlogging <coughs> no I'm so sorry but you know when you're vlogging you want to try to capture everything that's around you you know so I wanted to get a wide angle lens yes my kit lens is pretty wide but I wanted to try a different wide angle lens. So the details, um, it says it's really great for portraits as well. The f-stop is a 0.2, which will give me that bokeh background that everybody loves. Is that blurry background, baby. And I'm here for it. I can't wait to try it. The only downside is there's no stabilization in this lens. My camera itself has stabilization, but this lens does not. Now, is that going to be good for vlogging? Uh, I don't know, because you know your natural walk, there's a shake. But we're going to test that out today. We're going to go out and about, and we're going to test that to see if this is going to be good for vlogging. It is the smallest and the lightest lens that um, Canon has ever made for their EOS system. So I'm super excited that it's so small. It has a very fast processing system. That means the focus is quiet. Have you ever watched anyone's video and they're focusing on something and you hear like that um, sound? Like you can hear it. It's like a humming, like, um, like a tick, tick, tick almost. You can hear it in a video. But because the processing system is so fast on here, the focus is quiet. So... Now that we got a little bit of details, like I said, I'm not a professional here. 
So in your box, and I do register all my Canon equipment and all my Canon cameras. So I will be doing that. There's just some more instructions about the lens. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I get so stoked. I get so stoked when it comes to new camera equipment. That's all I wanted for Christmas. All I asked Santa Claus to bring me, and I got it. I feel like a kid in the candy store. This is my new baby. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't, isn't she beautiful? She's so tiny. I just love her already. <laughs> Y'all don't judge me. I love her already. She's so beautiful. I could just throw it in my pocket and, and, and go. So we're going to see what she looks like on my camera. Hold on. All right, first of all, let me put my lens cap back on. I'm tripping. Even though I have protection over the lens. <laughs> Gotta protect your stuff. All right, so let me put the lens cap back on. And then we're gonna take this off. Now. So you just take the back off. And to put your new lens on, there's a little white dot. Y'all see the little white dot right there? And the little white dot right there, we're gonna line them up together. So y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see. The white dot and the white dot. And you just turn. And you'll hear it click in. So, wow. Wow, that is little. <laughs> Not that the kit lens is much bigger, but it's a little difference. That is definitely pancake. Wow. And it does have the focal ring. Okay, let me see how much. That is so tiny. I love that. That is, you know, not all the way out here. Huh. But let's see if I can put my... Nope. Nope. But I do hear that you can get a ultraviolet lens, but you got to get an adapter and put it on top. But... I am going to invest in getting an adapter so I could put an um, ultraviolet lens because, like I said, I do a lot of outside vlogging. So, with that said, we're going to get ready to go on a field trip. I'm going to take the kids to the park so we're going to be able to see how it does in the outside lighting. I'm going to do both with the kit lens and then I'll switch over and we'll use this lens. So, we're going to do a comparison. All right. So... I'll bring you guys with me, and once we get the camera back on, I'll actually be on the kit lens when we come back, okay? All right, so I'll see you guys when we get to the park. All right, guys, so now we are at the park. We are filming on the kit lens. All right, so I have my arm extended to a regular vlogging length, and I do have my stabilization on. So we are just going to do a little walk around the park. As you can see, the sun is kind of setting, so it's kind of bright, kind of dark. Got my kiddos out here. They're at the pond looking for tadpoles. So we're just going to do a regular little walk. We're going to test the stable stabilization. I don't know why that's hard to say. We're going to test the low lighting, which we're in right now. I'm not going to change any of the settings. I'm going to leave it as it is. We're going to walk into an area that has more sun. And then we're going to test the zoom. And then we're going to switch to the pancake lens, the 22 millimeter. So as you can see, we're in a low light. It looks pretty good. I'm not really sure the focal length we're at right now. But we are at arm's length. Yeah, as y'all can see, my kids are right there. Be careful. All right. So, oh, we're in a real dark lighting. It's still very focused. Still looks pretty good. 
All right, and now let me back up. We getting a, oh, here's an area where we have more sun. Danny. Looks pretty good. Not too much shake. Oh, here's a lot of sun. I don't have the hood on, but we do have a filter on top of the lens that's supposed to help with that. Hmm. All right, so now we're gonna test out the zoom. We're gonna turn the camera around and test out the zoom. Okay, so with that said, this is the kit lens and we're gonna switch it over to the 22 millimeter and go back and do the walk again and see how it gives. All right, so now we are on the 22 millimeter and this is arm length. I cannot zoom in and out. This is what you're gonna get with this lens. So let's do a little walk and test the stabilization. I won't be able to see it now until we get into the editing part of this but so far it looks so good so good and I can even see a little of the bouquet in the background again that go to kids and let's do it see if we could get some bouquet in here without me even changing the settings which I think let me change the setting just a little so we can get more of that bouquet. Hold on. Okay, so I brought the f-stop down to as low as it would go. We're going to see if we get any type of bouquet. Ooh. Do we have any blurred background? Which I think. I don't know, but I love the way this lens look. I already... Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. It is so clear. Man. For this not to be so much a vlogging lens, it looks amazing. All right, so let's do a little bit of walking. Because we're going to go in different lighting. And we're in a low light right now. And it looks really good. I really like this lens for vlogging. I know a lot of people don't like it because of the stabilization problem, but... I think a little shake is normal because we're walking. So our natural walk, there is a little shake. So I don't see any problems with that. Got to keep an eye on the kiddos back there. So this is in really dark. And I think it's pretty good wide view. What y'all think? See any difference from the kit lens? I'll try to put them both on the screen so we can see them together. A little bit more. All right, so now we're in better sunlighting. I love this lens. It is so beautiful. I cannot wait to do some vlogging on this. Yes. So let's head back to the kiddos. Can't get too far. They are playing around water. And let's go over there and see what they're getting into. They're out here looking for tadpoles. Ooh, look, so. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Still looks good. Looks very natural. Even with the bright sunlight. That G7X Mark II, when I tried that, the screen got all distorted. You couldn't see anything. So let's see if these kids caught anything. Have you guys caught anything? No. Now, if I was on the kit lens, I would probably be able to zoom in. Zoom in? So far into that water, you could probably see what's in there. I see one. But with this lens, 
this is as far as we're gonna get. Push over here, push over here. Over and I'm not trying to get too close and I'm not trying to fall no, in there. It's more. No, like down here. Perfect. There it is. No, yeah, there's no, no fish no. here. Yes, there are. We, we, have, to get, we have to keep trying. There's some over here. It's probably too cold for fish. No, it's not. All right, guys, so that was the bus on the tadpoles. There was no tadpoles in there. All right, guys, so that wraps up our field test for this video. I'm going to take a sit down, and we're going to talk about it really quick before I end the video. So I honestly love this little pancake lens. I think it is beautiful. And when you're vlogging, you're usually at this distance right here. But if you want to get a closer shot, just pull your hand in. But the kit lens is still a really great little lens. It does a great amount of zoom. Of course, this lens does not. But I think I'm going to leave this lens on my camera for a while. Take it out and about. Test it. Do some inside videos, some photos. Just to see what it gives. With that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, comment down below which camera you're using, which lens that you're using, or if you have any suggestions for me on which lens I should try next. I've had that kit lens for about two years, and now I'm advancing up to a different lens. Uh, lens are pretty expensive. This one cost a couple hundred, so it was easy to purchase this one, but I am excited to try some other lens. So with that said, you guys, just hit me up down in the comments. Let your girl know if you're a Canon lover, what camera you rocking with. And me and the kiddos, we're about to get out here and get on this playground and enjoy the nice weather. I will see you guys the next time I upload a video. Y'all know, stay safe, and I'll see y'all next time. Oh, and don't get crazy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we about to get out and about, honey. We got a new lens, so we need to get vlogging so it is what it is i'm just gonna have to go out with all it is and just be seen it is what it is so all right guys i'll see y'all the next time and if y'all loving the way this looks i'm loving it sorry about the sun right there but i'm loving this lens can you guys see the difference it's so beautiful i'm so happy i have it all right guys so i will see you guys on the next time i upload y'all stay safe okay Bye.